Dumelang Sanwanani, and a very good morning, afternoon, or evening to each and every one of you beautiful people out there. Thank you so much for stopping by, and welcome back to The Do More Show, where we talk all things motivation, education, and of course, entertainment. And it is the month of February, which means it is Flow Feb. So this month, we will be talking about the state of flow, its benefits, characteristics, and how you reach the state of flow, as well as some hindrances that stop you from reaching the state of flow. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Have you ever been in a situation while you were performing a particular task that you felt like you've lost time or you've lost a sense of self-consciousness? For example, maybe you were reading, maybe you were writing, maybe you were playing a sport, and all of a sudden, you realize, where did the time go? That is the state of flow. It's when you're so engaged in a particular task or topic that your complete attention is focused on that one task. So much so that anything that is outside of that task becomes irrelevant and almost non-existent. Within this state, you feel like you can keep doing that task forever. Now, this is of course not to be confused with hyperfocus. Hyperfocus is when you're so immersed in a task that you're so interested in that you're performing it causes you to lose sight of everything and everyone around you to a point that it actually affects you in a negative way. On the flip side of the coin, flow is a beneficial state and it helps your well-being and it can take place when you're doing tasks that you're interested in, engaging, or tasks that you find challenging. Now, some of the benefits of a state of flow include happiness. How come? Because when you're engaging within that task, whether you're interested in it or not, it's the challenging, the process that you're going through, which challenges your mind. That's what causes you to be happy. Because of the fulfillment that you receive from doing the task. Another benefit is, of course, the enhancement of your performance of the task. For example, if you're playing soccer, the more you do it and within the state of flow, the better your performance becomes of the sport. And finally, It increases your motivation as well as, in some cases, creativity. And the reason for this is because when you're in a state of flow, there isn't an external reward that you're looking forward to, but rather an internal one. And on the side of creativity, your creativity increases within the state of flow. Because oftentimes, the task that you are performing is a creative one. Now, this is probably what you really want to know. How do you reach the state of flow? Well, you could go through this process. The first thing you do is you put yourself in a familiar situation. For example, say your living room, your bedroom, maybe your home office. A place where you are familiar with the environment and have control over what's around you. Then what you do is you eliminate any and all distractions that you may have. For example, a cellular device, or a cell phone, should I say. 
your laptop, those things could be distractions to you. Because almost every moment, there's something happening. Maybe someone's trying to call you. Maybe someone's sending you a message. Whatever it might be. Those small interactions, they are a distraction keeping you away from the state of flow. But we'll speak more about that in the following episode. The third thing then you do is you quieten your inner dialogue. What is your inner dialogue? It's the inner voice that you have. We all have it. It's that inner voice you have that whispers something into your ear. Again, we'll speak about that a little bit more in the next episode. But finally, you have to focus all your attention, not just a little bit, but all your attention on the one task at hand. And that is how you reach a state of flow. So just to recap the episode quickly, we spoke about the state of flow, which is an experience you have when you are in oneness with yourself, when all things, all distractions are gone and you're focused on a particular task. We spoke about the benefits of flow, which include happiness, enhanced performances, as well as increased motivation and creativity. And finally, we spoke about how you reach the state of flow. Being in a familiar situation or environment, rather. Eliminating all distractions. And finally, quietening your inner dialogue so that you can focus on the singular task at hand. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. I do trust and hope that you learned something new today that will be beneficial to you from myself from everyone here at the studio we thank you for your time enjoy the rest of your day salute